In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a 3D printed part to mount Logitech Z200 speakers on the side of your monitor like this. For the print, I'm going to be using my Up Mini because of the new Up Studio software which allows you to use other brands of filament. I'm also going to be using 2mm layers, the middle infill selection, and normal quality. I'll also use a raft because the up mini prints on a perforated board and leaves a ugly bottom surface if you don't use a raft. The 3D printed part mounts to a piece of angle aluminum that's 1 16th thick by half inch by 3 fourths inch. I drilled two holes in the angle aluminum with the same spacing as the visa mount on the back of my monitor. As you can see, the 3D printed part slides on the angle aluminum like this and you can use strips of tape for a tighter fit. To take off the white kickstand from the back of the speaker we have to remove all these screws. On the monitor without the volume control, you'll notice a weight attached either at the top or the bottom on the inside, and it's a good idea to remove this since we're going to be mounting this on the side of the monitor. To remove the kickstand, we have four more screws. Now that those four screws are removed, you can place the face back on temporarily and then flip everything over.
then to get this part off just pry like that and pop out all these things and then push forward to get these top little tabs out to get the kickstand fully off you'll have to put the speaker through it This is where the left side mount will be mounted, but I want the volume controls on the left, so I'm using the right speaker on the left. I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue right here for extra hold. Now flip everything over and put two of the four screws that you took out earlier back in the holes. Now you just have to Pop the face plate back in and put all the screws in the back of the speaker. It's probably not the best idea, but you can mount the angle aluminum without taking your monitor off the arm. I'm glad I was videoing because I was able to rewatch the video and find where that washer fell. To make sure I don't drop another washer, I used a piece of scotch tape to tape it onto the spacer. I loosely tightened the screw over here and then rotated the angle aluminum out of my way. Now I'm going to put a few strips of tape as a shim. Then all you have to do is just pop the mount onto the angled aluminum. Something to keep in mind about this design is because the aluminum angle isn't very thick and because of where it's mounted on the speaker, it actually has a slight forward tilt on the speakers, but I actually like the way this looks and if I didn't, I could just push it in and slide it in and there's a little edge on my monitor that it could pop behind. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe for future videos. It should go in a counterclockwise orientation.
but if you have this problem, it's probably in a clockwise orientation, like 